Hey guys, uh, Cody here. Uh, sorry if I don't sound the best right now. I'm not feeling that uh, good, but decided to still make this video. Uh, the review I'd like to do today, at least just a quick like first look, not my final opinion, but uh, first look review on uh, Colorfab XT material. Uh, I started out with, I bought uh, some samples from Printed Solid. Had some uh, samples right there. I got red, black, and uh, yellow. Well, then I decided that I wanted to use it a little bit more, so I decided to get a full roll of the black. I pretty much got the material tuned in now. Maybe not, you know, still a little bit of fine tuning left. But I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, here's what the roll looks like. Pretty nice roll. Price, I want to say, was it's up there. But it's it's worth it. But, you know, I'm not going to just, you know, use it for printing anything. It'll be for special things like this as a bracket for a job I'm doing right now. So, I mean, got a little bit over extrusion. You can tell by the scarring, but should be good. But, uh... My settings right now, it's about 245 for the extruder and about 70 degrees for the bed. I'm using Simplified 3D here. My settings are 0.9. I've been playing around. They're almost there. I got extrusion multiplier at uh, 0.9, traction at 1 millimeter. Uh, All there. Oh yeah, and then I have it. Oops, sorry. I have it as 1.75. That's one thing I will definitely compliment this filming on. The best by far, uh, as far as measuring measurements go. Uh, I mean, it read dead on 1.75 millimeters. Even though ovality, like from from one side to the other. 1.75 I've never had filament that good uh, which I mean you can't expect it for the price but uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with this film I've had maybe about a couple days with it still fine-tuning it like I said but uh, well, comes in a nice packaging you know nice and clean standard filament box but still good stuff uh, yeah, so, uh, like I said, yeah, the temperatures are all pretty much normal. I have it on the print speeds that were set for the Maker Gear M2, the ABS settings, and, uh, no fan. I have noticed, even though they recommend no fan, there's been times where there's been overhangs, and I have turned on the fan, it helped a lot, otherwise I was getting a lot of lifting, even if I dropped my temp. Uh, cause then when I dropped it down to like 240, uh, 240 degrees, it was starting to separate on the layers, so I didn't really like that, so there's just been times where I will run the fan. Uh, but yeah, after I use this a little bit more and get a good handle on it, uh, I'll make sure to do another report. So, uh, I will talk to you guys later, hopefully I'm feeling better during the next video. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions or if you want my settings or anything, like I said, I use Simplify 3D. I can post my settings. Or if you guys have anything you want me to try to print or, you know, whatever, uh, I'll give it a shot. So, just let me know what you think and, uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.